Wait, my wife. Sir, the doctor will be with you shortly. All right. Doctor. Please. Doctor. Please. How is my wife? Oh, Mr. David, right? Your wife just had a set of twins. Twins? Yeah. Twins? Yeah. Ow! Ah! Ah! Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Jesus. My wife has given birth to twins. Yeah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How to go see my wife? Calm down, calm down, Mr. David. There comes a time in a man's life one has to just be a man. What are you saying? Um, sorry, Mr. David. We lost her. What? We lost your wife, Mr. David. Mm, doctor, stop saying this now. Doctor, doctor, what are you saying? Doctor, what are you saying? Where is my wife? Doctor, where is my wife? What are you saying? Doctor, where is my wife? My wife can't be dead like this! my lovely kids okay. sweet daughter thank you so much my lovely children You're your kids welcome. are the best in the world <laughs> so you remembered come on daddy we can never forget this day because it's indeed a special come on daddy we can never forget this day because it's indeed a special day for us of course and if I become the president of this great nation in the future, I'll declare 20th of August a public holiday to celebrate the greatest man alive! Oh. Hey. <laughs> really, you do that? Yes, Dad. Of course. Oh. Happy birthday. Thank you, son. Thank you so much. And you know what? Today is actually a Saturday. Okay. And also a holiday. And that man's get ready to rumble! Keeping your sister. I don't know, she's just lazy. <sighs> Daniel, go to the back. For what? Do you know the front seat has always been my seat? I was sitting here first. And besides, I didn't see your name written on it, so go to the back today. Daddy, tell Daniel to go to the back. Daniel, would you please go to the back? It's not fair. Why is she the one that always gets to sit in front? Because she is the woman. Now listen, son. You need to learn how to treat a woman with respect. A gentleman always leaves his space for a woman because they are to be respected because they are special beings and should be pampered. Okay? Now open the gate first, then go to the back. <sighs> Go to the back. My oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
how to spin. How you guys doing? We're fine. Thank you. Well, well. Daddy has got you guys something. Wow. Uh, there you go. Hi. Wow. It's wow. beautiful. Thank Hi. you, Daddy. <laughs> Come here. Ah, you like them? Yes, we love it. Oh, good, good, good. Give me my own. Great, wait! Give me my own. You will. Give me my own. Give me my own. Daniel, check who it is. Grandma, welcome. Ah, ah, Daniel, how are you? Hey, welcome, hey. welcome. Nah. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Mm. I'm all right. Hey. Give me the bag. Hey, Daniel, look at you. <laughs> Daniela. Uh, hey, you've grown up. Mama, let me take you to your room. <laughs> your daughter is growing into a woman. I know. Daniela. Son, it's been over 15 years since your wife died. And you are yet to remarry. What is your problem? Mama, I can't just drop into marriage. I have to find someone that I love. Oh, so you're saying for the past 15 years, you haven't seen any good woman to love in this Lagos? Yes, Mama. Huh. My son, you need a wife. Your children need a mother, especially Daniela. She is growing into a woman. She needs a mother figure that will guide her. If you cannot find, let me find for you. Mama, I do not need you to find a wife for me. Uh -huh. So when am I expecting my daughter in love? Mama, please, I beg you, you need to slow down. When I see someone that I love, I would know. Besides, to be honest with you, I have felt nothing for any other woman apart from my wife since she died. <laughs> you cannot feel it except you open up your heart so that you can feel. Open your heart so that you can love again, Nam Biko. Eh? Your children, they need their mother. Biko, Nam. Mama, I've heard Please. you. Please. I've heard you. Daniel. Hmm? We have an important issue to tackle. What? What? What issue are you talking about? Grandma wants dad to remarry. And and so what? It's like you don't get it. If dad marries another woman, he will no longer have time for us, and she will make life unbearable for us. Don't you read news? Haven't you heard how cruel and wicked stepmothers can be? I think, I think you're right. Of course I am. So, so what do you think we should do? Mm. First of all, we have to tell that we don't need any stepmom. Secondly, we have to tell grandma to leave our daddy alone. Okay. Okay. Ha! Look at my big babies. Come on, give daddy a hug. Come here. Mm. Uh, what is going on? Why the long faces? Dad, we came to tell you that we don't want any strange woman in this house. And who told you that? I overheard grandma telling you to remarry. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Your grandmother just wants me to remarry because it will benefit you guys. But dad, we are fine the way we are. We don't need a stepmom. Yes, Dad. We don't need any stepmom. 
they will come and demarcate our family. All right. I've heard you. Mm, promise us you won't bring any strange woman to this house. Okay, I promise you guys that I would not bring any woman that would disunite our home, okay? Now how about the hug? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, doesn't make you. Mm, look at you. Yeah. Now you're in a lighter mood, huh? <laughs> Good morning, Grandma. Good morning, my darling. How was your night? Not fine. Why? Because of you, Grandma. Me? What did I do wrong? Grandma, Daniela overheard you advising Dad to remarry. Yes, so I did. Do. I need you people to please help me and convince him. You people need a mother. Grandma, why do you hate us? Me? Hate you? How? Yes, Grandma, you do. If not, you wouldn't advise our dad to remarry. It's for your own good. You mean for our own doom? I don't understand what you're talking about. Grandma, we enjoy the bond we share with our father. Yes. And we don't need anybody to come in and destroy it for us. So please, I beg you in the name of God, stop advising our dad to remarry. Thank you. Hey! You look at no more. 